Hello, it's Stephanie from Crafting in the Rain, and I'm going to talk in this tutorial about how to change the letter spacing and the line spacing when you're working with text in Cricut Design Space. So if you look at our two phrases here, the left one in pink, hopefully you can see that there are a couple of places where it just doesn't look quite right. And this is just kind of the default of how Cricut is going to load that phrase into the program when you type it. And then on the right in teal, I've tweaked it, I've fixed it, I've brought everything in so it's a little bit tighter. And hopefully you can see that that one is just a little more appealing. There's no awkward spaces or gaps between the letters. So let me show you how we can fix that. The first thing to remember is that when Cricut is adding, or when Cricut Design Space is adding letters onto your canvas, you can almost imagine there's a little invisible box around every letter. And those boxes don't overlap. So you can see here, there's like a box around the T, and then a box around the apostrophe, and then a box around the S. And that creates a little bit too much space right in here. Same thing where the G and the O, there's a box here and a box here. But the way that the G is curved in like this and the O is curved like this, it feels like a little bit too much space. Then it's really obvious down here in the word adventure with the letter V. Again, the V gets this box all the way around it. But that means there's a lot of white space down in here. The D also has this box around it, but because it curves away, it's a really big gap right in here. So I'm gonna show you how we can fix those, and then you will have much better results in your projects. Uh, now I will make a note, if you were going to uh, cut, this, cut all these letters out of paper or cardstock or something, and then individually glue each one onto your card or whatever project, then obviously you would be doing your own spacing when you glue each letter down. So it doesn't really matter how it cuts out. But if you're cutting this out with vinyl or iron-on, you want everything to be exactly lined up how you want it to be on your project because that's how it's gonna cut out and be spaced in the vinyl. And then you'll just transfer that right over to your final project. Okay, so if we click here, this is our text box, and when we click on the text box, the text toolbar shows up. And there's a couple of things we can do. There's something here called letter space. Um, and this is also called tracking. When you're learning about um, typography, it's about the space between each letter. And you can make this go up or down. You can type in a number and hit enter. The problem with that is that it moves each letter the same amount. So you're not really gonna fix some of these problems with like the space between the D and the V. So instead what I like to do is click this over here under advanced and just ungroup to letters. Now when you click on one letter, you can see each one is its own element and you can resize it and move it around independent of all the other letters. So we're going to work on this first line first. Like I said, there's a little bit too much space here with the T and the apostrophe and the S. So let's fix that first. And let's go in a little bit closer. So just click and drag over where you want it to go. And then same thing, let's just tighten up a little bit between the G and the O, the O and the N, and then even the A and the N. I think they can just be a little bit closer. And a lot of this is just learning what looks right to you. So there's a little bit of trial and error and there's not really any hard, fast rules. But if you just learn to start looking for it, 
like once you type out your text in Design Space, then kind of take a step back and say, okay, where does something seem a little awkward? Where is there too much space? Where is maybe something too close together? And play around with that and you'll get a much more professional result in the end. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to fix with these letters down here before I squeeze them all in just a little bit. If you look here, I click on the A and I can see this is 0.458 inches wide and 0.468 inches tall. The height of some of these letters is a little bit different. Here we have 0.457, and if you can see, you get a little bit of unevenness across the top there. And me personally, that just kind of bugs me a little bit. So we're just going to do a really quick fix. So if I click on this one up here, I can see here's the width, here, here the, sorry, the width and the height. I'm going to copy the height just with control C. And then I'm going to go through and click on each letter and give it that same height. So control V and enter. And with some letters, you might see them change size just a teeny bit. And I'm leaving the proportion locked because none of these are changing very much, but I also don't want to run the risk of giving it a funny stretch uh, to where the letter just looks funny when I'm done with it. So I just want each of these letters to be the exact same height because they're all capitals, and if they're not all the same, it's going to be a little bit noticeable. Okay, then what I want to do is select all of these and align on the bottom. Okay, and now everything is totally lined on the bottom and the top. And hopefully you can see that looks a little bit better than what we started with. Now we're going to work on some of these funny gaps. Let's start with the V and move it in a little bit towards the E. So move the V towards the E and then the D will scoot over and it can get pretty close to the top of the V because that makes this gap down here look like it makes a little more sense. And I scoot that over a little bit and then maybe I've moved that one over and it feels like now there's a little bit too much space here. So I'm going to back the D up just a little bit. And again, like I said, it's playing with it. It's scooting things over a little bit, moving things back a little. Okay, and now looking here, I feel like there's a little bit too much space around the T, maybe in here a little. So let's just start tapping these over just a little bit. And I just click and hold or drag it over with my mouse. Sometimes if you use the arrow keys, uh, it'll just move too much or not enough. So you just don't get as much control and precision. All right, and I think looking at this again, the S, I'm going to move it over a little bit more again. And then since we tightened up all of these short words right here, I'm going to move each of the words in a little bit closer to each other. Okay, so let's back that out, zoom out. Okay, so now we're getting a lot closer to this nice group of letters that we have over here, right? The next thing I want to do is get rid of a little bit of this space here. Not too much because I don't want the G to touch any of the letters underneath it. But with this much space, it leaves a lot of space between all the rest of the letters and the next line down. So I'm going to take all of the letters on the top line and attach them. And then all of the letters on the bottom line and attach those. And then scoot that up just a little bit. And then I want it to be centered. So I'll select the top and the bottom. Center horizontally. And now we have a group of text that looks, looks a lot better than 
what design space just kind of spit out as a default when we first started. And then you can see here too, when you click on, even though I've attached, sorry, not attached, um, I have, I did the thing here where I ungrouped to each letter so I could scoot the letters around. Well, now this is not an editable text box anymore. So if for some reason you got this far and playing around with it and then, um, oops, something got misspelled or you decide you need to change the font, you'll have to just type it again. But you can see the text or the font that you used over here. So it shows me that this is the happy font. So that can be kind of useful. Um, another thing too, if we took this instead of just attaching, we wanted to weld. Okay, again, it's not it's not a text box. You can't edit it anymore. But now it doesn't even show you that it was text. It is it's basically turned it all into just a welded shape. If you right click and then click on image info, this will show up right here. It's grayed out, but it'll show you that the font was happy. So that can be really useful if, oh, I forgot what font I used and now I want to go in and do something that matches it. So hopefully that's all really helpful. I hope you'll use um, the ungroup to letters often so that you can get some of this spacing to look better in your final project. If you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.